I think one at a time you want to attack. This next compression qigong involves you to make sure that you have found your shape in your hand. Firstly being the ginger fist. Making sure the ginger fist is right. Locking, no air. Thumb over the top. And the other being the mutsao. Making sure you've got the curve in the hand right. The finger across and all the power is going to this point here and the fingers are relaxed. And then we combine the two together, again from the original Qigong, breathing in, compressing to the Dantian, and then releasing to the hand. We're going to make a couple of things to make sure that you of, is that when you draw the hand in, the ginger fist hand goes forward, and make sure the mud hand doesn't come backwards. You can, you can use the mud hand, but I prefer to originally start using the ginger fist and maintaining the mud. The mud ginger fist qigong, pressing to the ground with the foot, not gripping, relaxing to the shoulder, creating no tension through the shoulder, through the body, through the chest, all the breath flows, making sure we control ginger fist, making sure we control the mud tower and understand the technique. Try not to drop your height, stay up. Stay light, open, open, so the hands go out. Keep the focus always to the hand as it moves and draws. Don't try not to just put the hand out and wonder what's going on. Put the hand out. Fold the hand. Draw, start to concentrate. Draw in the air to the Dantian. No tension in the body. Drawing the hand slowly across. Feet flat and press and draw up. Step forward, open the hand. As the stance is nice and tall, turn the left hand, start to create ginger fist. Turn the hand, the other one roll, start to create the mutts out. No tension in the upper body, foot pressing to the ground, control, press to the dance end, release. Let like go, focus. Ginger fist, roll with the move. Draw into the center. Compress, relax the body, let go. Open. Notice the height has not changed. Height stays the same. Mud. This hand turns in. The ginger fist hand turns in. The mud hand rolls in, turning this way, turning this way. So the hands are rolling opposite direction. From here, rolling, turning, compress, release, out, rolling, turning. Compress, out. Remember when we talk about the foot being flat, we talk about the compression, the air to the Dantian from the original one, breathing in, and expanding the chi through the Dantian, and pushing out, locking it in, and sending it to the hand. Again, like the stomach doesn't have to expand so big when you push the chi, at the beginning, it's all just about finding and being able to connect to your Dantian. Notice when the mud draws in and the ginger fist draw in, we maintain this far from the body. So it doesn't draw in and shrink on the body, it stays out. Because that is the beauty of Tong Long. 
of the praying mantis keeping its wing open and out and well protected. So we make sure we hang, hanging, still soft, hanging, thick bar boom, closing, drawing, draw, close, shoulder down, drawing, from the inside to the elbow, power, right to the ginger. The last movement is shutting, pushing from the rib and just releasing. Make sure you don't let go and push. A major mistake is letting go. The big mistake is to let go. Draw it and compress it through your back, lat, shoulder, rib concentration to the hand. A little movement. Remember, it's yin that we're searching for in the qigong. Then we start big, here, ginger. Draw. Okay, let's play it together. Of course, 16 times, eight times forward, eight times backwards. I'll play it with you forwards, and you play it backwards. Focus with your mind, get ready for the Qi Gung. Mut Sao, Ginger Fist. Open out, nice and wide, so we can get the extension of the body, so we get the feeling of the rib closing, the shoulder coming down, and the compression to the stomach. Lock the air to the dancing end and release the hand to ginger fingers. As you go, make sure you try not to seize the upper body. Power is concentrated just to the ginger fist, just to the muzia. No tension through here. It's relaxation and flow through here. Power to hit and an instant release. That's your ginger fist muzia technique. Train it. Go through the other Chi Gung videos because they all interrelate and you cannot do it without going through the process of looking at them all. Enjoy them mate because you will find the benefits. As my CV used to say, train it, train it again, think it doesn't work, train it again, doesn't work, train it again, give it six to twelve months you might start feeling a little bit and then you'll get it, and it'll be yours forever. The gift to you of the mud, ginger, qigong, and we'll show you how to fight with it.